Hello everybody here, Average Gamer, and today I've got a quick little video on just some things about Windows 10. Now it's been out for a while, kind of getting used to things. And, um, well, long story short, I'm going to bring over my recording software. Here we go. Um, from my second monitor to my primary monitor. A um, couple things I wanted to... Actually, you know what? No, we're going to move things back over. A couple things I wanted to show you guys that I learned. Kind of little tricks, little things here and there uh, that might make Windows 10 a little easier for you. Um, the first thing is down here on the uh, well, the taskbar. First thing you do, you can right click, obviously, as per normal, but a couple things people don't know about the taskbar. Um, first things first, you can actually go to toolbars here and go to addresses. Now, you won't see much except this little box down here. Now, this gives you it just says addresses, right? You're probably thinking for yourself, well, what exactly does it mean? Well, you can actually click it here uh, for example, let's go to Google. It automatically will open when, uh, Microsoft Edge for you and go to whatever website you actually prefer. So let's go to... Um, let's type in YouTube. Properly. Enter. Now, my internet's been kind of wonky today, so we'll have to see if it actually goes to YouTube or if it does something else. Oh, I actually went to... That's, that'll be the reason why. It actually didn't go to YouTube itself. YouTube.com. There you go. So you actually got to actually type in the actual name, right? Whatever.com.net and what have you to actually get it to work, though. But mind you, it's basically just an address bar. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, it's just a fucking address bar on your, your thing there. What's the fucking big deal about it? Well, there's another thing you can do with it. You can have it turned off and have just your links turned on. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, just the links, no big deal, right? You can click this little button here, and it shows you all the links you currently have to your actual game itself. Now, these are all the same links up here that are currently available up here in um, in Edge, specifically. So if we want to go to Facebook, we click Facebook. It'll open Facebook for us. Uh, if we want to click... Uh, well, we're not going to go to that website. Uh, we're going to go to my favorite hockey team, the Maple Leafs website. Let's, uh, let's move it up. Boom. You're probably thinking to yourself, shit, that was fast. I didn't even click anything. Um, to actually make things full screen, you just have to hit the Windows button and the up arrow button at the same time. It's actually quite easy. Now, I'll say, for example, I wanted to have multiple websites open at the same time. I can click and drag one down and go up, left, and up. That's one. Facebook. Well, I want you to go up and to the right, please. Uh, the YouTube. Can you go... Um, let's go down to the bottom right, then you, can you go down to the bottom right. So there you go. So we can actually have four different websites going all at the same different time. The same different time. This same time using the simple Windows button and then the arrow button. So up and left, well actually, so we're going to have the, the Google here highlighted. We're going to minimize all these just out of the way. Well, I had an extra one open. Didn't even realize it. Oh. So we're going to use Google here. So for example, to make it just go into the middle, I don't want to hit that. So there you go. So right now it's on the very far right. So this is where it initially was open and dragged to. If I wanted to go to the top, just to make it full screen on that side, it's Windows button and up. Full screen. There you go. To unfill it, it's Windows screen and down, and it goes back to where it was. Now if I wanted to go to a different location, you hold the Windows button and just hit the left arrow button. It'll go to the left side. Right arrow button goes back to where it was. If you press the up arrow button, set full screen, etc., etc., etc. Now, you can also, this is the fun part, um, well, have multiple websites. There you go. All open. Um, you can also use this little button here, which shows you, I don't know, oh, no, it does show it. Perfect. It shows all the current programs I have running on said monitor. Now, on the, my secondary monitor, which I will have to try and get somehow, let's go to display. It'll show you basically on your secondary monitor the same thing, just smaller. I love that. I love the fact that there's now virtual desktops. You can hit it. And you went, hit it, and right down here, new desktop, click it. And you probably are going to get a black screen right now. You probably don't get anything actually on your screen, which is pretty cool. Then we're going to actually click this button again. I'm assuming you're getting a zero nothingness on this one. And boom, new screen. And we're back to open again. I love this. It's it's fun. Um, it's kind of like from uh, from Apple, how Apple used to have all the uh, the different desktops you could run. So on one desktop you can have a bunch of you know uh, text documents and all that stuff. On another one you can have some uh, internet browsing going on. So that way you never really have to 
close anything. You can actually just open up a new desktop and have multiple desktops name multiple different things, so it's a lot easier for you. So that's that. Another thing I, want you, I have a problem with, and everyone has a problem with over time, is, is room, right? Everyone's going to have an issue with room on their computer. Um, so what you could do to actually verify, to basically double check your old, uh, your, your PC, right? Back in the day, you would go to control panel, go to hardware, uh, go to programs, sit there and be like, okay, programs and features, click it, and then go to size, and there you go. It tells you 13 gigs for called arms, uh, Medal of Honor Pacific is 3 gigs, uh, 9 gigs for, for The Sims 4, which I've only played twice. <laughs> Uh, Terra Attack, Wing Commander 3, Command and Conquer, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, okay. So, there's all this stuff. Another way to do it, through... Let me actually get rid of my email. Another way we can do it is through Windows 10, is to click here. Click your Windows button, obviously. Hit Settings. Another way to go to Settings. Windows button, S. No, Control. Oh, damn it. Ah, we'll just hit it this way being a pain in the ass. Since my computer got uh, that bug on it, it's been acting kind of funny, but you can also just pin it right to the bottom there. So wait, so you go to settings, go to windows, then settings, and then you can go to system, and add some features. On the left here, this will show you which programs are running on your computer and just how much memory they're using. Actually, sort so sort by size. So 13.4 gigs currently on hard drive is uh, called ARMS. The Sims 4 or 7.5. So it's showing the exact same way my eyes. This is just a lot easier. There's less clutter than the other screen was. I like it. Um, also from this screen as well, there's a couple of things you can do. Um, first things first is you can actually go... Let's go back to the settings real quick. And we're going to go to privacy. You can actually turn off Cortana. Yes, you actually can turn off Cortana. Uh, what you do is you go down to speech, inking, and typing. And here there would be an option to basically just stop getting to know me. Click that, Cortana will stop annoying you. Um, what you can also do from this screen, which we're going to go back to... Uh, bah, 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 bah. I believe systems is power and sleep. Now, not everyone knows this. Is If you're running... Obviously I'm running a tower. Um, if you're running a tower, Windows 10 is kind of designed for laptops. If you go to additional power settings here, guaranteed you, it's going to be set to balance automatically. Best you design for, you know, energy consumption and basically lower energy consumption, but, you know, to, you know, make your computer okay. Um, to be honest with you, set your computer to high performance. Um, you get three options, balanced, power saver, or high performance, or you can set up a plan yourself. So create power plan here on the left. Okay, power plan. I want you to go high performance. Done. High performance basically gets you 100% of the power to your computer. It's not going to cut itself back here or there. It's going to go 100% balls to the wall. You have on a laptop, obviously you want to go power saver or balanced. Um, and when you go to play a game, switch over to high performance. Um, your computer, yes, uses more power, but in that case, it's also going to use 100% of its potential. Uh, with balanced or power saver, it does not utilize a full amount of its potential. That's the main thing there. So we got uh, Cortana, do, 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 power savers. Um, another thing for some people like myself, uh, prior to uh, having unlimited internet, is having unlimited internet connection, or even just trying to figure out what's going on with your computer, because um, sometimes you know your internet's really slow and it's sluggish and all that stuff. You're trying to figure out what's wrong with my internet, um, or even just how much. In general, how much files have I downloaded in the last little bit? How many programs have I downloaded? Like, just you know, overall, what's been going on with my internet connection? You can go here to internet and network. Go first to advanced settings, and it'll give you some information associated with your uh, your router. Another one here is you manage your Wi-Fi settings. Now, if you're on a laptop, for example, um, you can have. I would advise you to turn these off. Um, specifically. Um, I believe it's connected network shared by my contacts, I believe. Now, I don't have it, but there's a thing called Wi-Fi Sense um, that you can turn off. Um, if it's in here, it'll be on or off. Um, I don't have it, obviously, because I'm a tower, but I would say turn that off. That What that'll happen is, if that's turned on, and you're on a Wi-Fi connection, and a friend... Boo -doo -doo, there goes my speaker. If a friend is also currently on the same... or on a device handheld 
laptop, whatever, and they go to connect to that Wi-Fi network, they'll actually get a notification from you via Outlook or something like that when you connect to it prior to logging in, what the password is and all that stuff. Um, it's assuming you want your friends to get on it. There you go. But what I would look at myself personally as a uh, someone who likes to just see what their usage is for their internet and all that stuff, you can go here, data usage. So you can see right here. Currently our Ethernet, or I'm currently using two I <laughs> in the last 30 days, 280.4 gigs. You can go to user details, and it will show you. This might take a while because the amount of like information. But it'll show you. Here we go. So Microsoft's Edge has used 108 gigabytes. That's just downloading files and stuff, and that's partially also the virus. Um, BitTorrent itself is 138 gigs. OBS is 7 gigs. iTunes is 4. Origin is 3. That's from live streams, obviously. C3, our communication client, is 1.7. And it goes all the way down to even the system settings that uses the internet. So I love that. It sets things up. You can also go to storage settings. So this will actually show you generally what each is in each actual drive, for example. So for example, we have this PC, which is my computer. Um, primary drive is C. It's got a 118 gigabyte hard drive. You click on it, and it'll actually break it up for you. So system and reserved area space for it is 53.5 gigs, 11.7 for apps and games, and you'll see it slowly work its way down. 17, 16 point, really? So right here, you can actually clean out temporary files. So right now we have 5.6 gigs of temporary files, which I can clean out in this one click click, quick click. I can view my download screen, I can move stuff to the recycling bin, I can even delete previous versions of Windows. Because I have 11 gigs, uh, which is basically Windows 7 right now, if I'm not mistaken. Because still haven't removed it. But this is a good way to show you, and you can also update it. So right now it was updated at 707, we'll click it, still 707. You go to your D drive as well. So here it'll show all of my stuff for my 1.8 external hard drive. My 1.8 terabyte hard drive. It will show you, your obviously, your percentage you utilize, and it also will go through and ping the system. And will bring up all your information, which might take a while, because it was turned off off in sleep mode, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's flashing like a motherfucker. <laughs> so it might take a little while for it to show up. Then there's my book. This is my other our external hard drive. It's a 2.7, or basically a 3 gig or 3 terabyte hard drive. This is where all my videos are and all that stuff. And it'll show you break everything down. But then you can also set up save locations. So for example, any new apps that I download, so that's basically games or apps itself for the computer, can go to a specific drive. Now, this is good for if you have a secondary hard drive or a tertiary hard drive, and you're downloading a lot of programs. Here is Documents. So this is where you're, you know, you, uh, you're downloading you know, Word documents, Excel documents, and all that stuff. You can say where you'd prefer them to go. You click the drive, click Apply. Uh, music, if you download music, you can tell you where to go pictures and videos and stuff. You can also, like, when you download that stuff, tell it where to go as well. Um, but this is just for simplization. Tablet mode, I do not have a tablet, but you would have the ability to utilize some situations, some stuff here. Here's the default apps in, the, in your uh, your computer. So, for example, right now I have my default mail is mail. My default maps is, well, Windows app and Windows Maps. Groove Music is my default Windows player, but it'll show you when you click on it anything else available that you can change your default to. So, for example, I clicked the music player, and it gives me the ability to go to Windows Media Player, iTunes, Movie Maker, or look in the store to buy something. Photo Viewer, same thing. Gives you all the different options available to you. And last but not least, Video Player. Web Browser, you can click it. It comes automatically with Edge, though, so that's no big deal. Uh, you can also change some settings down here, like settings for default programs. Hello. Nope, cause a problem with settings for... Oh, yeah, that's no big deal. It's probably going to happen quite a bit for the next minute. Thank you. So, right now what you can do, like for example, if we wanted to change groove music, we wanted to... Well, every time I play music, I wanted to switch to media player. So since the virus I got, it's actually gonna, it goes through this a lot. Thank you. But we'll ignore all that. 
the about screen. This tells you what version of uh, obviously Windows 10 you have. So overall, um, I hope that's just some additional. Fuck, shut the fuck up, please. Some additional things here that you can um, well get to know, get to learn. Um, you also get a 3D builder automatically with uh, with Windows 10. A lot of people don't know that. To come the fuck on, really? Thank you. So, with all that in mind, there is one other thing I wanted to mention, that is, for example, uh, desktop. You can actually add your desktop to your home screen. Um, I like it. It's pretty fun. It's 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 simple. It's pretty easy. Um, all your folders and that. So, if you have thousands of folders on, say, like my case, I got two different desktops. Um, I got two different monitors. It's just a way for me, you know, for you to kind of filter through things and and make them a lot easier. But that is that. That is this little quick little episode on just a couple of quick little things I have found on Windows 10. If you have any questions or if you found anything that I haven't mentioned um, that you find interesting about Windows 10 that you really haven't seen anyone talk about, um, please uh, leave a comment. And I'll I'll look at it and, and uh, maybe do a video or even comment on it. Read all my comments and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.